The car has been obtained. It is 737. I'm cutting it a bit close, at least compared to what I wanted to cut it as. Uh, it's a bit rainy out today. It's like a very Seattle day. Missed in a little bit. I know I need my GPS. Arrived. Look how hazy it is. It's 819. We're to see the competitive brackets with the red headbands. It's gonna be me tomorrow morning. We're going very slow, which is why I'm recording a video. I'm not even looking at my phone. Three minutes. I should have put like an air tag in the car because I can't find it. I have no good angle here. I have no good lighting. What I do have is the knowledge that the rope climb ain't shit. Ah. Oh. I did the rope climb and I was like, okay, nice. I did the rope climb. I had been practicing that. I think it was just surprise, honestly. But like, I regret not having my GoPro because I didn't skip a single obstacle is what I'm getting at here. But at the same time, if I did have it, I don't know if I would have performed the same. Mentally speaking, because I went into this thing thinking it was going to be a demo. I'm going to try stuff. Mount Olympus surprised me. I, I almost feel like they changed it. I kind of saw it and I had this weird thought where I was like, not all information is always used. <laughs> it's a very weird thing to pop into mind. And I just didn't use the chain. According to the Spartan race website, my last race in Atlanta, my 21K took three hours and 33 minutes. Granted, this one was way flatter, but it took two hours and 59 minutes something. And then I also got this like Spartan national series. Point is I did Olympus or whatever the hell it's called. I don't know. I was very surprised. I was very tired at this point. It was like the second to last obstacle, I think. And when I did the twist on the monkey bars, on one of the obstacles I ended up doing, my first try, I just made a mistake and I slipped and I cut open a blister I had had from last week. No other rips. But you know, I went into this thinking, I want to finish every obstacle tomorrow, but let me just scope things out. How is this going to go? One of my mottos recently has been study hard so the test is easy. It was kind of born from some other thing, but it became relevant for work, for interviews, which <laughs> You know, but the obstacles I saw, a lot of them felt easy. The rope climb, the last three times I've tried it, failed. Couldn't even get up, but it was so easy. And that's because I had practiced it several times and I had been doing pull-ups. And the twister to the monkey bars was, the only pain point was that my hands were stretching out. I think that's all for initial thoughts on the 21K. My expectations for tomorrow are a lot less, I think. I almost feel like in this case, I did very well because of the expectations I was going in with at least. I did hear my shoulder crack twice. I think it was a healthy crack, but there was good encouragement. I love the social aspect of these. No real goals with com competition tomorrow, just to keep running. So I was gonna initially put some other clips in between the phases of these races, but there's a lot of that and I think it's random and I think it's relevant. So I did wanna say just my training regimen, so to speak. I had done a 21K in March of uh, 2024. I did a 5K uh, with a friend of mine, um, in Texas in May. I'll show some clips of that. I remember being tired, but in general, my training involved ring push-ups, doing pull-ups each day, going to CrossFit once a week, very rarely twice, doing my best to eat well. That was a challenge and a challenge I'm focusing more on now. I was also going to martial arts, jujitsu and Muay Thai about three to four times a week, which was very helpful for grip strength, I think. And of course, uh, running. I wasn't doing much long distance running. I had done a 15K a couple days before. Did a 9.8 mile run the other day, felt great. But I'm trying to think about core a lot recently. And I could do my, a good crow pose, right? And I could hold this pretty, pretty well. Feels good. I don't feel any pain, I feel well balanced. Wee. I don't want this video being half an hour. So anyway, let's see how the 10K turned out. Shibidiba. It's so quiet. I haven't been up this early in a long time. I pull into the big lot. So many people here already. I think I was further over last time, but there's also some tape going through the parking lot. I wonder if they changed the course up. Or like, I don't know, I saw super signs yesterday during the bees. So like, did I miss something? Maybe they had a super in the afternoon? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm here. Ooh, I should take a pin of my car. That was different. I like the blue the most, honestly. I think this is going to change my mind. 
with caffeine, but I'm just, I'm not exhausted, but I'm just defeated. The start was rough, <laughs> but I was just feeling miserable. Just straight up, my elbow hurts. This has been an ongoing issue for a little while. It would only show up during climbing, and then it would show up for intense jujitsu weeks. The obstacles were okay at best. They were way harder today. I have a little burn on my leg, but I did the rope climb. I think that was kind of like for the 5k my goal is just do the rope climb my first trifecta weekend my last trifecta weekend I like I think I enjoy the races but I don't know doing them like this like I have three hours to kill I don't know what am I gonna do I was gonna sketch for a little bit but I might just try and take a nap I did not I s didn't skip any obstacles but I did fail some kilometer six or seven my mind started turning around because I was just I wasn't feeling good mentally and whether that was the food yesterday the fact that I did a half marathon obstacle course yesterday like I don't know part of me was like you know in the future I'm just gonna do trail runs. I already have my trifecta pass for next year and I think I'll use it as an, ex an excuse to travel, which will be good. <laughs> it was wet today. I was like, oh, I'm not gonna do the twister. I'm just gonna do the penalty lap. And then I got there and of course I did it. I say of course, because that's just how I am at this point. But I, again, same thing. It was the twisters followed immediately by the monkey bars. I did the, got it through the twister and then I got to the monkey bars and I got halfway through the monkey bars and right on the first one, so like three to the end, the condensation was insane. Everyone was just slipping right off. I slipped off and then they had a, they had like a, farmers carry kettlebell thing for a penalty lap which was fine but at that point i was like you know what i tried there is no way i would have gotten through that in my current condition even then it was one of the bars rotates so that plus the water just whew. so it was kind of like you know what i'm glad i tried because i get to say that skip skip mount olympus my feet slipped right off the bottom of my shoes were still caked in mud because it's so wet nothing was drying that one i was like fine whatever <laughs> i did it yesterday again there's the multi-rig that everyone was failing it they had a 30 pen burpee penalty which is what i'm going to do for the 5k i think Think everyone was failing. Well, some people had really good ring form, from what I understand at least. As soon as they hit the bar, slipped right off because it was so wet. One guy pulled out these pair of gloves, like workers' gloves, and he made it. And it's like, is that meta? I don't know. Should the competitive bracket have a rule about everyone should be wearing gloves or everyone should not be wearing gloves? I don't know. My mentality, right, for this one was the obstacles are a shortcut. They're not part of the race. They're a shortcut to not doing the other stuff. Yeah, I think Ooh, that's sorry. kind of it for my reflections. Oh, and the Vivos. I'm never running a Spartan race without them again. They hurt, but only as much as they did yesterday. A, I had more control over my feet and what I was landing on, like for the rocks, so my ankles didn't like twist. B, for the, like the Z wall, I had a bunch of these blocks. I could feel and I could grip with my toes like it was so helpful for me to have those if that's why I failed Mount Olympus I doubt it not an excuse I think it's just today was a different course that's how I'm gonna put it right the added challenge of everything was wet and also I ripped on the oh it's just a callus that ripped I didn't break skin cool that's why you should I should be shaving these down I do have a rope burn on my leg but yeah for the 5k the twister and Mount Olympus escaped I saw where it cuts off I'm gonna try and just lie down and take a nap there's nowhere to sit and I don't want to stand and it's also cold. I am cold. I am genuinely cold. No. <laughs> uh, apparently you can go in early. So it's 11.36. Get my shoes on, get this shit over with. <sighs> Telling myself I'm not gonna go through the mud again, but I should just do it because I don't wanna do it. A oh, weird ethos, but here we are. Gotta change into shorts and then we're good to go. This is no wet, everything feels drier. I wonder if I have it in me to like really push myself and actually sprint this, but I don't know if I have it mentally within me or how my feet are gonna feel, but I saw it. Just being here, marketing, am I right? I found the car first try this time. Thought they were gonna verify it when they gave me the trifecta metal, but. <laughs> Didn't see it there. I entered that last race with a sh mentality, I'll be honest. Got the little trifecta metal. I had a weird moment going in where I just, all the marketing and everything they do. Marketing works on everyone. I don't care who you are. I know it works on me. And I had a moment where I was like, all started to fade. And I kind of still retain a little bit of that perspective in the sense that like, why did I do three races this weekend? I mean, life is what you give it meaning, right? You know, I saw someone with a Spartan tattoo. I, I overheard someone getting their 13th trifecta this year. You know, what meaning do you give? That's a deeper question, I think. But I exited the 5K with a much better mentality. 
I walked in there thinking I'm just gonna get this over with. I think what happened with the 10K this morning is that I've been gearing up in my head for this competitive 10K thing. And for the same reason the 21K felt great, I went in, I was like, maybe I'll skip some obstacles, whatever. And I surp surpassed that expectation. I went in with this higher expectation for myself on the 10K and I just going in, starting, sucked. I recognize that now. And I think with the 5k, like I did an under an hour, 51 minutes. So it's 5.92 kilometers. I did skip the mud. I think that was, I don't know how I feel about that. The first time was fun. The second time was necessary. The third time I just, I saw the mud rolling mud and I just I went around. I felt like I, at that moment, wasn't a part of everyone else for, for a moment. And then I kind of fell back into it, but I did the rope climb the third time. I did the, the multi-rig at the end. That to me was like, Okay, okay, I still got it. The obstacles this morning were very difficult because it was slippery and be but I think mostly it was just my mental attitude was such shit. Maybe it was a, it was probably lack of sleep combined with what I did yesterday combined with the time of day, whatever it might have been. Yeah, I got a cool trifecta wedge. I had to pay $40 for it, which was a little silly. I'm going to buy into the marketing because I give it meaning. Just like I'm having my second rain of the day after a ghost this morning. Shout out to this guy named Charlie. Talked to me right we were walking by the parking lot. It was a five minute conversation. He did a trifecta weekend last year. He lives in Seattle. He did it this year. They're going to maybe do the 50K here next year. And I think I'd want to do that instead of all three. I have my trifecta pass. So again, using those as an excuse to travel around. And I want to get into trail running. I think one thing about a shitty mentality is that you you really got to ask yourself, like, why the f am I doing this? <laughs> the choice to just exit the course is a choice that you have open to you at any point. I ran around the rolling mud. No one gave a if I was wearing a red headband, the competitive ones, maybe someone would have noticed. It's just kind of like, what rules do we choose to follow? You know, don't take that the wrong way. When you follow the rules in a in a competitive way, there's something out of it, for me at least. When I was running and I ran into one of those guys I had seen in line, and he ran through the trail part, like the one with you part of this trail, the 5k today, I felt like I was doing the, the an action of who I want to be, of the person, the future me. And I don't know if that's credit to the Spartan race, but just lifting someone up. That action in itself lifted me up as well. If something pushes you, let it push you. And I don't think it's right to look down on anyone for doing that for any reason that you might have. I need these external motivators, which I've been trying to figure out how not to need for so long. You know, this medal isn't just cool, I did the race. I think I don't really have any talent when it comes to physical exercise. I gain weight easily, which means I can gain muscle, but that's about where it ends. Two years ago, I couldn't run a mile without, you know, my lungs exploding point is this just represents i put in work for something i could have worked harder i i know i i didn't meet all my expectations and goals calisthenics wise and stuff i don't know that's the meaning i choose to imbue these things with and but the trail running was kind of nice it was very meditative i think if i just could do a trail run without obstacles it'd be very meditative actually you know i'm gonna blast some japanese music because i gotta turn my head towards the jlpt and the jujitsu competition in a couple weeks